Hey guys! So, several countries have unique military technologies, and one of the most astounding is Israel's Iron Dome. This complex system defends the airspace and can handle the most dangerous threats. So, the Iron Dome is an anti-missile defense system that has shown an unprecedented level of efficiency. Now, Israel has been in constant danger since the second half of the 20th century, when the country reappeared on the political map in 1948. It has needed to survive several military conflicts, including ones with superior enemy forces. There was a new flare-up in 2021 between Israel and Palestine, where hundreds of missiles were launched at Israeli cities to wipe them off the map. The Iron Dome caught 90% of them, which is considered the highest degree of effectiveness for such a system in the world. Now, the escalation of the conflict between Israel and Palestine began on May 10th, 2021. In just two weeks, about a thousand missiles were launched at Israeli residential areas. After the conflict began, the anti-missile defense system's operations were recorded by a network. The interceptor missiles left behind a smoke trail on their way to meet the enemy missiles and broke them into fragments. About 10% of missiles did hit their targets, but that's far from a bad result for an anti-missile defense system. Both military experts worldwide and normal citizens are delighted by how well the Israeli defense system protected the airspace over the cities. But how is this possible? Well, there are a few secrets. So first off, Israel is a small country with a total area just over 8.5 thousand square miles. So it's much easier to set up an almost impenetrable defense system than it would be for a much larger country. However, that doesn't mean that this is the only reason why the Iron Dome is so effective. The country's small size is also a reason it can be hard to defend it. Large cities are located near the borders, which means it doesn't take long for enemy missiles to reach those cities, whether they're launched by an attacking army or terrorists. So this is how the system operates. The Iron Dome uses radar and a control center. They identify approaching missiles and can calculate their trajectories and potential targets in seconds. The dome's reaction time plays a key role, since enemy missiles could reach their target in just 15 seconds. The third element of the Iron Dome system is using installations to destroy enemy missiles. Now, there are enough sites that launch interceptor missiles to create an almost impenetrable shield over the country. We know the sites are grouped in blocks. One block has three launch sites, and each one can launch up to 20 interceptors. One site can intercept missiles at ranges varying from 2.5 to 43.5 miles. Now, using this information, analysts confirm that Israel only needs 13 batteries to defend itself. Current information indicates that Israel has 10 operational batteries, with another 5 under construction. And something really incredible is that they don't fall for false positives. Interceptor missiles are launched only when the control center confirms that an enemy missile is heading towards a residence or another important object. Launching false signals over Israel to distract the Iron Dome's firepower for a follow-up strike to destroy the defenseless government won't work. The interceptor missiles detonate approximately 33 feet away from their target, so their fragments act like shrapnel and destroy the attacking missiles with high efficiency. The only threat is the fragments of both missiles, but luckily, Many Israeli homes have bomb shelters designed in a way for their residents to have additional protection during an enemy attack. The Iron Dome was made with specific conditions in mind and is not a universal defense system. It's designed for unguided missiles and is only fully effective against them. This system is not fully autonomous and an operator is still necessary for its use. Now, the Iron Dome's batteries work excellently independent of weather conditions like rain, for a downpour, or even a sandstorm. None of these will interfere with it or decrease its operational efficiency. 
Naturally, this efficiency does have another side to it, the price tag. The cost of using the anti-missile system is many times more expensive than the cost of one unguided enemy missile. Exact numbers for the price of the Iron Dome are classified, so any information that's leaked to the public is contradictory. Several sources name the cost for one launch at about $50,000, others say about $100,000. The cost of one unguided missile that is delivered through contraband to Gaza, which is where most of the missiles come from, is much cheaper. Besides that, sometimes several interceptors are needed to intercept one attacking missile. But Israel doesn't complain about the cost of protecting its citizens and country. As far as the effectiveness against guided missiles and other smart weaponry goes, there is simply no data because terrorists have not used those types of missiles yet. The Iron Dome protects the peaceful people and cities, as well as plays a role in saving the soldiers' lives. The army used to need to lead strike groups into zones where missiles were coming from right into enemy territory. The enemy could use an attack on a city as a ruse to lead Israeli soldiers into a trap. Now, when the Dome has taken responsibility for missile defense, soldiers don't need to conduct such risky operations anymore. Development of the system began in 2006, but the first defense complexes appeared in Israel much earlier than you would think. They were made by the local companies Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries by 2011. Additionally, Israel received U.S. support. According to some data, half a billion dollars was spent on the development, so investments from a strategic partner were an important factor of the success. But Israel has always been able to keep their secrets, so the Americans received technical documentation on the project only in 2014. Also, the system itself, the dome, is always being improved, although its operations remain unchanged. Creating the system was a very relevant mission. According to the Israeli army, in 2014, just after three years of operation, the Iron Dome had already intercepted and destroyed 1,200 missiles. The interceptor missiles are also having their sensors being modernized to make their cost lower to just a few thousand dollars. The radars and other elements of the dome are also being improved. This let the complex, in just 10 years of operation by January 2021, destroy from 2,400 to 2,500 enemy missiles, saving untold numbers of lives. Of course, this system has its critics. The most prominent is that the Army is too reliant on the Iron Dome, which makes the other air defense systems not receive the appropriate amount of attention. Nevertheless, the U.S. has already purchased two Israeli batteries. Now, if the government is investing tons of funding into its defense industry and is buying anti-missile defense, then you definitely won't doubt its effectiveness. So, what do you think about the Iron Dome? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.